Hey guys, welcome back to the channel of Jimmy is Promo and today we will be setting up and reviewing the Gold Shell KD Box. The KD Box is a Kadena miner with a hash rate of 1.6 Tera hash. Now this thing is super small, it's very convenient. You can really place this anywhere in your house, maybe even at an office. It's not loud. It also will not jack up your electrical bill. It's also not going to change the temperature or humidity of the room that this thing is sitting in, which is why this thing is a perfect starting point for anybody who wants to start mining Kadena or really anybody who is brand new into the cryptocurrency mining community. And also the price of this is very reasonable. As of today's shooting of the video, it is sitting at $2,500. So again, very, very profitable. The other machine that we have sitting right next to it, this is the power supply. And then this is the plug to plug in this power supply. Now, the reason why this is the power supply of the KD box is because on the back, you'll see your plug for your ethernet as well as right here, this is the plug for the power supply. So on the end of this Bitmain APW7, there is 10 different power plugs, and this one does have an output of 1800 watts. So because this APW7 puts out 1800 watts, this only consumes 203. Now on the end of this, you can see that there's 10 different power supply plugs. So that means that, you know, when you, when you do the math, you'd really only want to plug in eight KD boxes. So if you're looking to kind of smart, you know, start small or start off with maybe two or three of these, you can easily do that because on the end of this power supply, you have 10 different power plugs. And again, 1800 watts, this only takes 203. So you can put up a maximum of eight without overpowering what this is able to do. But I probably highly suggest really only going for two or three of these if you're just starting off and it's really going to get your legs and your feet in the pool. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you're able to get this thing set up, how you can find the IP address of the KD box in your computer, how you can put it into a pool and everything else. But I also do want to show you just how small and convenient this tiny KD box is. So I'm going to show you what this looks like up against the Microbit What's Miner M32S. So this thing is a little bit more elongated. It's a little bit more longer than the traditional ASIC miner. Most of them are a little bit shorter and taller, but this one is super long. But still, you can just see how massive a traditional ASIC miner is versus how small and convenient this one is. And again, remember, it's only using and consuming 203 watts usually with a different ASIC miner, one that's traditional, larger like this, you know, you're going to be running right around 3400 watts. So 3,400 watts versus 203. And remember this power supply can put out 1,800 watts. So this right here is even half of what a traditional ASIC miner is. Now, before I show you how you're able to set this up, let's take a look at the website of where I get all of my ASIC computers, all of my ASIC miners. So I go to asicmarketplace.com and then I always go to available miners. And when you click on available miners, it's going to show you everything that they have in stock or the next batch that is soon to be that you're able to create your orders. And also too, the reason why I love ASIC marketplace is because anytime that there's an order that goes through, they always ship it out within 24 to 48 hours. If it's a brand new unit, now there is a few units on there that is also used, but they're certified. They test them before they send them off. That may take seven to, or five to seven days to ship, but I like it because the back end of this, if you purchase with Bitcoin, they are using the uh, Coinbase Commerce, which is very, very professional. That's what any business, any owner would want to do if they are taking in cryptocurrencies. But here is the Gold Shell KD Box uh, screen right here. This is the page. So you can see here that it is sitting at $24.99 so it's $2,500. As you scroll on down, here's just a bit more of the details. This one was released last month. So this is June of 2021. It was released in May, just one month ago. The noise is only 30 decibel levels and usually some of the other basic computers are closer up to 75 to 80 decibels. So here is the power, it's 205 watts. I think I misspoke before. I think I said 203, but this one is 205 watts. So I, I apologize for that. This is where you can see down here that orders will be shipped within 24 to 48 hours. Uh, if it's used in secondhand miners, it will be shipped in five to seven days. They test all of the used miners before shipping. Uh, so yeah, this is the this is the website that I trust to purchase all of these miners, even the ones that are upwards of, you know, 15, $20,000. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna head into the room where I had this one plugged in. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug in the power source right here. So the power cable goes into the back of the power supply. Once it's plugged in, then I'm going to plug into the back of here, the power supply along with the ethernet. And then we're gonna come right back over here and I'm gonna show you which pool I have this going into, but also the user interface of what you need to do when you plug in really any type of ASIC miner. So as the KD box is powering up and connecting to the internet, I do wanna show you how it's done so far for the past five to six days. So right now I have that KD box going into a Kadena pool using dxpool.com. You can see right now it is inactive. Also I had it unplugged for the last hour, getting ready for, to shoot this video and also shooting the video. So if we head over just into the profits, just to show you how it's done, if we were to scroll on down, you can see that we've mined starting on the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21 and 22. Two. And also the profits did slowly go up. This was not a full entire day. Then we also had uh, one that was 9.8 Kadena. We got 11, 11.25. Then we got 10.60. Then we got 10.29. So really on average, we're getting anywhere between 10 or 11 KDA every single day as we are mining. Again, this is only one KD box. If you wanted to get two of them, then you'd be able to double uh, basically all of these numbers sitting right here. So yesterday's profits is in settlement right now, which we already know was 10.29. So soon that will be moving over into our balance. So as of right now, our current profits from right before I unplugged it was we were getting 0.23 at that moment. I unplugged it, got everything ready. And then you can see right up over here is my balance. And balance just means that it is everything that I've mined so far that I have not paid myself or moved it over into a different Kadena wallet. So it's sitting right here in DX pool. They have a Kadena wallet as it sits there. You can just leave it there for as long as you want and then you can pay it out into whatever wallet you have. So I've, I've moved out 33 Kadenas. Now if I was to go inside, um, this is the one that I'm using right now in terms of the wallet holding Kadena and really I'm only using this for Kadena. So the cool thing about it is that if you go inside of your funds, I don't really have too much. You can see I just started. So what I started doing was moving them over into my Kadena wallet here on, on a hot bit. Then if you wanted to, you can transfer it over into USDT and then you can purchase yourself some Bitcoin. You can also do some transfers and things like that, but really I just found myself just selling Kadena for USDT. Then I use that USDT to purchase myself some Bitcoin because if you wanted to move this to your main wallet, maybe you know Coinbase Pro, maybe Binance.us or Crypto.com, whatever you might use, uh, it's always cheaper in terms of cost for transfer fees sending Bitcoin than it really is with USDT. So here we are on the DX pool website on just a computer. Really, this is just what we got done looking at right now. When I hit on the refresh right here, you can see that it has now moved over into active. Real time is not really gonna come in just yet. It's gonna probably take five to 15 minutes. You can see it dropped off from when I when I unplugged it to now when I've plugged it back in. And again, you can take a look at your profits and you can also take a look at statistics. If you wanted to learn a little bit more about Kadena itself, you can go to Coin Information and you can read about it. So really it's a leader in digital accounting books. And so this is really gonna be good for any type of institutions uh, that's looking for efficiency, especially using its blockchain. And it is a very scalable platform as well but it looks like it's mostly for digital accounting books. So here is the very first step that you wanna do after you plug in your KD box. And really this goes for a lot of the, the other ASIC miners. So I use the uh, advanced IP scanner. Now, once you pull up the advanced IP scanner, I just click on IP right here and then I go to scan. So this is gonna search for anything that is on your network. So anything that uh, you know you are connected to on your computer, it's taking a look at if as long as it's plugged into the same network. Now you're gonna notice a bunch of things coming in and I'll probably black out some of this as well. These are all the other uh, ASIC miners that we have going on in our mining facility. So what you'll be looking for is going to be a little computer that has uh, you know this little blue indicator letting you know that it is connected to your your signal if you see one that's blacked out that just means it's not connected but you want to find one that also has a little down arrow something that you've never really seen before so in this way you'd be able to figure out exactly which one is the kd box and then you can go into the back end you can get into the software of gold shell so this right here is going to be the one i can already tell right away it, it, it has a lit up computer when i hit on this little down arrow 
I can double click on the HTP and that takes me right into the Gold Shell KD Box dashboard. So here's the dashboard. You can also see right over here that we just plugged it in and it's going and it's a little above that 1.5. So we're sitting somewhere around 1.5, 1.6 terahash in terms of the DX pool. And this one might not show, you know, the, the true, true real time form of the actual numbers, uh, but this dashboard will. So you can see the temperature and you can just see everything that's going on. You can click on your miner right up over here. And then you can also take a look at its system. So this is where you can change password, you can factory reset it, things like that. So after you open up the dashboard for the Gold Shell KD box, on the very top right hand side, you can see here where it says unlock. This is where you'd be able to go through and you can alter things, change things, you can put in which pool you want it to go to, things like that. So once you hit on unlock, it's gonna show you your, your user and password. And right away out of the box, I did not change it just yet for the purpose of, of today's video, but I will be going through changing this password. And they always suggest change the password after you get inside. But the initial password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once you do that, you hit on unlock, and then this is the screen you're able to see. Again, it looks the exact same, except for now it is unlocked locked you can go inside of your minor details right over here and this is where you go to add in the pool priority now because i am using the the dx pool once you go inside of dx pool and you select kda on the very bottom it's going to show you which url to put it at so you can hit on this copy button right here go back inside of your dashboard this is where you want to go to add and then you add it into this screen here. Now you notice that there is two of them and also they are a little bit blacked out, but you notice that there is two of them sitting right here and all you have to do is you do have to drag which pool you want to be active. So this one was originally on the very top and I just moved the one I added in to the top with a drag and drop. But once you go inside of the screen, I suggest underneath system, you wanna change your password. Underneath minor, this is where you want to add in your pool priority. That is the only thing you need to change in this screen. And once you're done with all of that, you can go to the very top right hand side and then you hit unlock. So this way it is locked in. And I guess since we are on the DX pool, I might as well show you as well. If you go inside of the very top right up over here and you hit on wallet, this is where you go into the wallet. You can hide all of these small accounts, which is gonna be basically all of them. And now this is showing you your, your KDA wallet, your Kadena wallet. It shows you your balance. It shows you the cash. Uh, this is where you go to withdraw. And with this with withdraw, this is where you then put into your Hotbit uh, address. So be, because I created a Hotbit account, just for this Kadena, I went into Hotbit, I found this, this wallet, the Kadena wallet, I copied and then I pasted that address in here. So this way when I withdraw it from DX pool, it is going into my Hotbit wallet for Kadena. So then this way I'd be able to sell it for USDT, then I can sell it for Bitcoin and transfer it over, or you can put it all into USDT and transfer it to your big main normal everyday account. So really that's kind of everything I wanted to show you. You can get this again from asicmarketplace.com. Again, very credible website. It's really one of the very only ones that I kind of trust right now because there's a lot of different websites that take forever. They give you grief or maybe they just take your money and run. Uh, but this one right here is very credible. Um, I've bought multiple ASIC computers and ASIC miners off this website. And really, again, that is why I'm suggesting it to you. If you want to get into mining Bitcoin or mining Kadena, mining Ethereum and so on and so forth. And again, if you guys are ever curious or interested in purchasing this miner, I will be placing the link below the video inside the description if you guys want to get this miner itself. And I'll have a additional link showing you what is available in terms of the available miners on asicmarketplace.com. I just do want to show you kind of how I have mine set up. It's just sitting in this room over here. It's a room right next to where the YouTube studio is. I have it uh, with a 50 foot Cat6 cable. Uh, I think it's a Cat6 or it's a Cat5. I believe it's a Cat6 cable. It is a flat cable, so it's not thick, it's not round. And then I have it plugged into my big D-Link switcher. So then this way I'd be able to plug in multiple different you know, KD boxes, Dogecoin miners, and then all the rest of the other Bitcoin miners that I'm gonna be putting in this house as well. So let's say that we go back into home. This is what the home website looks for DX pool. And then this is where you wanna go and you click on your KDA uh, you know, pool right here. 
And then now you can see now we are sitting at 1.46 terahash. But I hope that you guys have appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then you also like the other video on the other side. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you